motivation. You guys know this is the beginning of the week. Thank you for waiting. Justine, Justina says, I'm already waiting. Around here at VMR Review, we'd like to start your week off right. And it is the beginning of December. Oh, the holiday seasons. We have so much fun around here. I got some announcements for you guys today. Um, if it's your first time, thank you so much for joining us today. I have the pleasure of being the number one NCLEX instructor in the world. My name is Regina Callion here at Remar Review. I, I work with an amazing group of people. I really, really must say that I do. And we put so much of uh, positive energy into making sure that your studying for NCLEX is as painless as possible. But Today, I'm bringing the pain because your Monday motivation will be served and I'm not taking any prisoners. The topic is excuse me while I change, excuse me while I change. And I'm not talking about clothing here, not at all. But we'll get back into the topic today. It's a great one. Um, let me talk about change. So you guys know, you guys know that we change the famous Quick Facts book. So there are two versions that are out, the old Quick Facts and the five star Quick Facts. Now, the reason why I changed Quick Facts is because I wanted to upgrade the information. I wanted to upgrade the information. And I thought that it was so necessary to provide the most realistic information when it comes to the exam. And so although I love the old quick facts, the five star is replacing the space in my heart that the old quick facts held. All right. So I say this is a study topic for you guys, too. If you have both books, because some people do, I don't want you putting things from the old into the new. If I didn't put it into the new quick facts, don't you put it in there, all right? Um, study the five star as it is presented, okay? Study the five star as it is presented. Um, it is a great resource, it's streamlined, it's appropriate, it's accurate, and um, it's good for changing, it's good for change, it's good for change. So five star is the preeminent for you guys when you're studying. So you don't have to worry, oh, Regina, I didn't see this in the five star. This was in the old book. Go with the five star. That's where I want you guys to study from. All right. So um, and the only reason why I'm saying this is just because some of you do have to. If you have the old one, study the old one. But I don't want to receive emails about both of them. So someone says, hey, I'm studying from the old one. Should I um, should I put this or you said this in the old one, but this is in the new one or these topics are not in the old one. Can I get them like those are the kind of questions. So I really want you guys to just focus on the one that you have or if you're studying uh, for NCLEX and you have the five star go with the five star. OK, that is my advice to you guys. All right. Now. Excuse me while I change is our Monday motivation, is our Monday motivation. And before that, I have this special announcement for you guys. It's back. Oh, I have been getting YouTube comments and Facebook comments about when seven days of NCLEX are coming around again. You guys know seven days of NCLEX is like our most famous event here at Remar Review. And I have to tell you guys, that it is back. Seven days of NCLEX will begin the day after Christmas all the way until the new year. So tell your friends and you guys might not be able to see it, but um, because the, the writing is so small, but the seven days of NCLEX, literally, it is like a week long NCLEX review. And it is super perfect for you guys who have just purchased for Black Friday or Cyber Week because about the time of seven days of NCLEX, you will be 
picking your test date. You will be preparing for your test date. So this review will be super helpful to you guys that are getting ready for your exam. And so it's right on time. It's right on time if you are preparing for your New Year's NCLEX exam. So we're festive today because we're excited about seven days of NCLEX and I'm going to go over hot topics. I have new hot topics. Um, you guys probably weren't with me last year, but I have new hot topics. We're going to do a full pharmacology review. You will have an NCLEX review with focus notes. You'll have homework. It is going to be amazing. It's like an advanced study session right before your NCLEX. So if you have the package, I will be covering things from the package, but I'll be going deeper and um, all of the questions will be different. You guys are going to love it. I'm telling you, I was looking over some of the material yesterday and I'm just really, 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 really excited about this year's seven days of NCLEX. So um, it will be nightly. We're going to put out the schedule. We'll put out the workbook. It should be up by Friday where you can actually sign up for the event and you will see the times that we go uh, that we go live right here on Facebook. Uh, so it will be seven days of wonderment here at Remar Review. Oh my goodness. So seven days is back. Tell your friends. It's going to run from December 26th until January 1st, 2019. We will be bringing in the new year together, just like last year, just like last year. So it, it's a fun time. Um, and it's, it's up to you guys. If you um, if you have your test date scheduled and you want to move it back a week so we can um, study, study together, you have the option to do that. If you feel like you're just you just want to get it over with and you want to just go ahead and go for your exam. You have everything. If you have the package, you have everything that I've created. So I will just be reviewing the material, reviewing the information, and you guys will be able, you guys will be able to review it with me. Okay. So um it's just a good thing. And I'll be talking more and more about it. Don't worry. As we get closer to the event, I will be actually explaining more about it, but I just wanted to let you guys know today, come on a Monday and let you guys know the seven days of NCLEX is going to happen the month of December. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. So I jump paper here. Getting back to um, this week's topic at hand, excuse me while I steps, uh, while I change, let me give you the action steps. Let me give you the action steps because there are some things that you need to do for this week this is motivation just for the week we really have to take our inclex journey week by week sometimes day by day sometimes minute by minute i've gotten emails of people saying my package is here and i'm feeling i'm feeling like Whoo, i got a lot of work to do or Whoo, this is a lot so we're gonna take it week by week. So today, you are here for motivation, okay? You are here for motivation. So here are the action steps. Here are the action steps, getting ready for the change. The topic is, the topic is excuse me while I change. Excuse me while I change. All right, so number one, this week we start with changing the attitude changing the attitude and we always really if you it really if you watch our monday motivations it always starts with our mindset we always want to start with how we're going to look at this week the way we look at things our perspective our attitude is the foundation for whether we can even receive motivation or not if you aren't here with a positive mindset that you can do it then it's going to be very hard to get some motivation out of this broadcast. So the mindset has to be changed. It has to start with a place of, I can do this. Yes, it's a lot, but I can do this. Like right now, I am trying to help a very large group of nursing students and they need a lot of help. I mean, really a lot, a lot of help. And the task seems great. Every time I sit down to prepare, it's like it's a huge task, but I have to start with the mindset that I can do it. 
It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many students. It doesn't matter what they need. I can do it. So I want to encourage you guys today. Let's start by letting everyone know. But this starts really with yourself. This one is just really for yourself. I can do it, but I have to change the attitude, the way I'm thinking about it. Okay. It is difficult, but it is not impossible. So number one, um, change the attitude. The second one, I like this one a lot. Um, and again, attitude is the foundation for every motivation, every motivation. The second one though, oh, let me tell you this. So, um, you know, our girl, our girl, Michelle Obama, she has this book called Becoming. And I'm telling you, there's a quote in here that is phenomenal. And it's simply failure is a feeling long before it is a result. Don't you just love that? Like failure is a feeling long before it is a result. And so that was one that I have put in there. And I, I totally forgot about it. I put in there um, that quote when it talks about when, when you're thinking about changing your attitude, like sometimes we are anticipating, we are anticipating a negative outcome before it actually even has the opportunity to present itself. And so I want you guys to keep that in mind, how failure is a feeling long before it is result. And check out her book, uh, Becoming, if you get a chance. Only great things about it. I've actually, I'm waiting for mine, actually. Um, oh, hey, I got a testimonial. Now, I know this is not... Uh, their real, real name, but I appreciate the testimonial. Remar nurse, I passed my NCLEX on Thursday. Thank you, Regina. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, tell me, which are you RN now? Are you a PN? Let me know. Let me know. Which which group are we adding you to? We're saying congratulations. I just see, I see everybody start congratulating and I didn't know why. Now I know why. Thank you, thank you so much for letting us know. And she's thanking you guys uh, for congratulating her as well. All right. Amazing. You guys shop me every time you come on here and do that. All right. Change ownership. Number two for Monday motivation. Change ownership. And this essentially is the idea that you own your own life. But sometimes we behave in a way as if um, our life and our responsibilities belong to somebody else. Now, I may get in trouble for this because I know the Remar nurses are from many different cultures, but I have to say this to you out there. You own your own life and your own decisions, not your husband, not your kids, not your current job, you. You, you are where you are because of the decisions that you make. Um, you own your own life. And so you have to take responsibility. You have to take responsibility for where you end up. All right. So and it, it is a result. It's a combination of actions or in it, inactions every day. Every day we have the choice, either we're going to do something or we're not going to do something. And I'm telling you, when it comes to this NCLEX process and this studying, you um, cannot leave it up to no one else. Nobody else is going to take this burden of um, getting your license from you. It is not going to happen. Um, nurse Workman, congratulations. You guys are just busting in on me today. Um, so Nurse Risky was an RN, I believe. Um, so you can do it. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I know it seems, ma'am, I know. And, and people, we stop to do this because literally this, we stop to congratulate everyone who has taken and passed their NCLEX because essentially that is why you guys are here. That is why you assemble together. That is why we congregate on Mondays for motivation because the results are nursing license. And that's what we want for every, every body. So community of nurses, we congratulate you. We thank you for studying with us. I know it's not, I know it's not an easy task, but I know you feel so much better now that you have your license. I know you feel like a hundred pounds. 
a thousand pounds lighter because you have gotten over this hurdle. And I'm happy that you've used the Remar products to get you where you are supposed to be. This journey to getting your license is different for everybody. It looks different um, in terms of the sacrifices, in terms of um, what we have to put aside. But the process and the tools can be the same because the things that you guys are studying, the things that uh, Nurse Workman studied with is the same things that you guys have. Um, there's no secret to which products, like everything, everything that um, I come on here and tell you guys is stuff that I studied and things that I've put together or I'm using things straight from the Remar products. And I just want them to be a help and a resource. So everything that we do around here is to help you guys. Um, so don't ever feel like you don't have, you don't have a, a hand to reach out to. All right, we are here. This is what we are talking about. We are getting ready for this week to take ownership of the week. It's Monday. We're not gonna we're not gonna let this week just be an accident. You guys are already claiming it. I love it. You guys are already claiming it. I'm next. I'm next by God's grace. I like that. Yes, that is how you have to see it. You have to see yourself in those same shoes. All right. Um Oh, Nurse Contento, Nurse Sandra, I pass thanks to you, your materials and your encouragement. Amazing, amazing. Thank you for being here. And the beautiful thing about it is our nurses don't leave. Our nurses don't leave. I literally have nurses saying that they still get students messaging them about study tips or how to study. And that is what I love about this community. That is what I love is that we come back to encourage other people and to lend out a helping hand. So now you have um, three RNs on this broadcast, three RNs on this broadcast that can encourage you and give you amazing motivation. There, there are almost 300 of us here today on this Monday. So the motivation honestly comes from within the community um, it, it really does. And that's why your story and your testimony is so important. You are not struggling for any reason. You are struggling so that you can look back at another nurse who will come behind you and say, if I can do it, if I can do it with everything that I have going on. And I know my three nurses on here that have passed had a lot going on. They were just not at home in a perfect paradise studying for NCLEX. They lived in a real world just like you guys do. So to see that they have overcome all of the challenges, uh, gotten over the test anxiety. There are people right now that are afraid to test. Um, they have gotten over the test anxiety. They showed up, they gave it their best and they passed. And and now they have their license. And that's exactly what you guys have to do. You have to study for a short period of time. You have to commit to a test state. You have to show up, show up expecting to demonstrate your competency, not just show up and, and hope that you don't get any select all that apply questions. You have to show up ready for the select all that apply questions. You have to show up ready for 265 questions or 205 questions. The mindset has to be, I chose this thing to happen to me. Not, oh, this is this, this, why is this happening to me? You see the difference? One is like, yes, I'm here for a purpose. I'm here because today I said I was going to be here as opposed to, oh, my test date is coming up and I don't know if I can do it. And I'm so afraid. Like, no, no, you cannot. You will not. You must not go into the exam like that, all right? Confidence is absolutely key. Confidence is key when it comes to this thing. Like in the whole sphere of nursing testing, when it comes to nurse testing, NCLEX is that referee. Like NCLEX is that umpire that calls the shots of whether you work or not. So it doesn't matter what nursing school you go to, uh, man. It doesn't matter what nursing school you go to, where you come from, if you had straight A's in nursing school, none of that, none of that matters. What matters is that 
you study the competency from the test plan and you show up prepared. That's the most important thing. NCLEX is not going to ask you, well, how long was your nursing program? Did you have to write essays? Did you do clinicals? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You could be out of school for 10 years. You could be out of school for 20 years. You could be out of school for 40 years. We have nurse, we had a nurse on here out of school for 40 whole years. Took her NCLEX and passed it because she understood the study, the foundations. So Oh my goodness, you guys got me off on a rant, but this is the motivation that somebody needed today that cut the excuses, change the mindset, show up for the exam. You guys have exams coming this month, December. Some of you guys have exams coming in a couple couple weeks. It's time to get ready. It's time to stop fooling around. The end of the year has come upon us. And we need to get these licenses. We need to get these licenses. In the name of Jesus, we need to get these licenses this year. So we're talking about changing. Excuse me while I change. We're putting ourselves on notice. We're putting other people on notice. And it is necessary for this week for us to prioritize this goal of passing our exam. This is the time of year where NCLEX, honestly, the interest for NCLEX is the lowest. Nobody's trying to do NCLEX studying. You don't see NCLEX reviewers out right now. Nobody's nobody's going live anyway on Facebook like we are reading my review. But really, nobody is doing anything extra because everybody wants to put on Christmas sweaters and dress up and just think about what's under the tree. But I'm trying to get you guys to think about what's coming in the mail, which would be your license if you just focus during this time. Right. So this week, this week is about a change in ourselves. And let me tell you something about change when you're trying to change. And I think this is the hardest thing for us to realize is that when you're trying to change and where you're trying to accomplish a goal you may have to put aside some relationships because change actually, this is so true, change actually separates you. Change, and I'm talking about changing your life, and that's what you guys are trying to do. When you get your nursing license, it literally changes the direction of your life. It opens up doors. It opens up doors when you get that license that you do not currently have access to, right? It will literally move you out of a whole income bracket. And so it is very common for people not to support you in the way that you need to be supported. And honestly, in the way that you would expect. Um, but it is, oh, and it's so true. It's just like, People sometimes will not clap for you when you are actually trying to do good. And so we have to learn to pat our own selves on the back and encourage our own selves because it doesn't matter if so-and-so doesn't support you or so-and-so. Um, and, and this could be family. This could be friends. I mean, I don't know. This could be spouses. But there are just some people that will not encourage you on this journey to you becoming a better person. And so when we realize, though, that change separates, it's a hard realization. But sometimes successful people often find themselves alone, often find themselves with few friends because success is, a, um, I don't know, it's like a reproach to some people because, and, and this is just my opinion, I believe sometimes it's hard for people to be happy for others because uh, when other people accomplish their goals, sometimes it allows people to reflect on what they are not doing in their own life. So it is a very special friend that encourages you when you are doing well. Everybody else, uh, you you have to kind of see it for what it is, accept it for what it is, and continue on with your goals. We have amazing support here at Remar Review because everybody really is, in, is trying to pursue something greater. They see something greater. They want to be a help. They see this as a ministry. And um, 
it is it is amazing and it's very very hard to find so uh, just for the realization today um, just for the realization today understand that changing your life will separate you from people from people who may have once been really close to you and Amanda I get that I get that like I, I understand that um, I have lost a lot of friends along this way. But what I realize now is that some people are just in your life for a season and that is okay. Sometimes God sends people in your life to help you to grow. Like, and so we may look at a person and be like, oh, this person just mm, like, why? But it's actually to help your own self to grow. Like there's something in you that needs to be worked out before you get to the next level. Because when you get to the next level, um, it's like, when you raise yourself up to the next level, you have to have the character. You have to have the character to meet you at that level. And so when we talk about nursing, when you talk about nursing, if you cannot deal with a little irritation right now from people that you love or people that you know, imagine caring for a patient that is so difficult. Imagine having to humble yourself to a doctor that is totally unreasonable or, you know, nurses that are literally going to treat you <laughs> like the nursing world is a cruel, cruel world. It is not easy for new nurses. And that's just, that's a whole nother thing. Oh, that's a whole nother motivation. But the whole purpose, what I'm trying to say is that be ready, be ready to walk this path alone if necessary and for a short time. All right. Be ready to walk this path alone. Ah, I love it. All right. So, all right. So change. And one of the things why change separates us is because it requires, it requires some pretty tough things. Like we're talking about changing this week. Change requires some pretty tough things. Like change requires you to be uncomfortable. Change requires you to work really, really, really hard. Change requires you to be better than you were yesterday. Like the process of changing is a complicated one. And so when you ask people, when you ask people like, do you want to be, and just general, do you want to be uncomfortable? Do you want to work really hard? Most people, the average person is going to say, no, like, I don't want to do those things. I just want to be where I am. I'm happy the way I am. Like, who, who wants to be really uncomfortable? Who wants to work really, really hard? Like, pretty much not too many people. So when you're on that process of doing these things, like you guys are studying for NCLEX, it's not something that people want to tag along for. And so that is how change separates you from the majority. Like when you think about successful people, when you think about successful people, they have sacrificed so much. And literally the saying, there is no elevator to the top, like you have to take the stairs, is so true. Like, and if you think about people who sacrifice so much that you know people talk about them and people like you know if you have a friend that's a musician and all they do is play music and people are like why don't you get a real job like why are you constantly focused on this one thing it's not benefiting you it's not helping you like we have that same experience i've talked to students that are studying for NCLEX and people are telling them, you, you've failed this test so many times, why are you still doing this? You could go back to school for something else and be working, but they stick with it and they don't give up. It, just like that, you know, the musician friend who doesn't give up on their music, doesn't give up on their career, and then they put out an album and it's wonderful. It like changes the scope of music. And it's the same, like you have to stay focused on your dreams, you really, really do. And working hard and sacrificing is a big part of that. You guys know when I first started Read My Review, I I went to this I went to this man. He was working for a business help center, right? You it was it was supposed to be a place that you go if you want to start businesses. And so I came in there very green, uh, like a young girl. I came in there um, and I 
told the guy all about Remar Review and how I wanted to help nursing students and how I was going to write these books and do all these things to help nursing students. And you know what he told me? He said, that's not going to work. He said, it's not going to be successful. And there's two reasons why it's not going to be successful. And so myself, I said, what are the reasons? He said, well, the first reason is because you're a woman. And the second reason is because you're black. And you need to think about doing something different. And so I was totally deflated. Like, literally, I was like, he doesn't think this could work. Like, maybe this, maybe this isn't going to work for me. And so I walked out of there um, with my head kind of down. And I was like... Man, that was not what I was expecting. But honestly, by the time I got into my car and I had looked, I, and let me tell you, I had um, I had quick facts, right? But it wasn't quick facts like it is. It was just like, um, you know, notes that I had. And it wasn't a formal book. And I looked down at the book and I said, God, I believe that I can do this. I believe that I can. And I decided from then on to never ask anybody else to affirm me or approve my dream. Like I never, ever went back to anybody else and said, is this OK for me to do? Like if I want to do it, then I have to do it and I have to encourage myself along the way, because that was the first experience of me asking for help with Remar. So, you know. Everything happens for a reason, but we have to be we have to be able to um, withstand difficult times and be OK to walk the journey alone, because by God's grace, Remar Review has helped thousands of nursing students um, pass their NCLEX exam. So it is it is your dream. You give it the approval. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, Difficult. So another thing, you know, when we think about changing, when we think about um, changing things being difficult, it's, it's almost like, OK, if something is difficult, then that means that we're less likely to achieve it. Right. When we talk about studying for NCLEX, it's difficult. Like, yes, it is so difficult. But I think that's one of the best things about studying for NCLEX. I think that's one of the best things about taking this exam and passing it. Like that is the key of the whole process is that it's difficult. And if we can change our mindset to think like, man, things that are difficult are very rare. Things that are difficult are worth so much more because people are not willing to put in the work for it. So when it comes to your NCLEX exam, um, it's difficult, but the prize is so much worth it when you get that license. And it literally will separate you from a crowd of people. So I like to think, man, all right. So, Regina, I, I you have so much to do. Like you have this goal in your mind and it's so difficult. But then I encourage myself because I think if I can do this, man, it's a total game changer for myself, for my family and everything. And so I want you guys to think about that this week and and the difficulty letting that encourage you because you think NCLEX is difficult. Some of you guys, some of you guys actually um, will end up with your master's degree. Some of you guys will be like um, administrators and nurse managers and clinical specialists. So the beginning is here. Like your NCLEX is just the beginning. Your NCLEX is the entry into the door where you're going next. You guys are not stopping at just your NCLEX. I know I'm talking to some professors, some PhD nurses, some research nurses, some clinical specialists, some neonatal specialists. I know, I know, I know that the Remark community, I know it. I know you don't even have to tell me. I know 
when I'm, I know who I'm talking to because I see the caliber of just encouragement that you give to each other. And so there is no way that you're going to just get your license and stop there. Like you're going to want to, you're going to have the desire to pour into other people. And the way that you're going to do that is through further education. Really, I know it. That is how you guys are going to do it. Um, a lot of Remar nurses are actually leaders in other areas of their life, like they're leaders in their church. Um, so I know that that will be an extension when you get into nursing um, or the same thing. It's going to be the same thing. So I'm actually I'm excited for you guys because I never see you as just uh, students. I never see you guys as nursing students. I always speak to you as if you are at the highest level. You guys, I actually think that you guys are my peers, actually. So I see you guys where I am. I have my master's in nursing, but that's not the final stop for me. <laughs> not even close. Not even. And, and that's another reason why I love um, Michelle Obama's book, becoming because one of the premises of the book is um, you are never just one thing. Like as you live, you constantly become, you should always be becoming the next thing, whatever that is for you. And that is, that is how you live. That is how you live. Um, you're, you're always open to opportunities of growth in every area of your life. So uh, I say all that to say NCLEX, is what it is for this week. Um, it is a priority for this week, but we're not going to live with it. All right. Um, let me tell you this. Excuse me while I change. Being able to achieve difficult tasks always leads to success. And that is so true that the people who get the recognition in our society, I'm talking about the American society, people who get recognition here uh, are, are those who have accomplished these ginormous feats. We, you know, we, we recognize celebrities who put an, um, a tremendous amount of time and practice into their craft, whether it's music or acting. Uh, we recognize people who are athletes and they put a, a tremendous amount of effort into their bodies and their sports. And, you know, so these people are praised, but there are, um, there are a lot of everyday people. There are a lot of everyday people that are putting a tremendous amount of effort into uh, their careers, their education, their minds, and they receive acknowledgement too. People who win the Nobel Peace Prize are, are forever learning and forever studying. And so what we're required to do for NCLEX really is minimal compared to what you've already done. You guys have already done, I think, the toughest part of the whole process, which is nursing school. I mean, I, for me, I, I am surprised that I got out of nursing school without a psychiatric consult because it was so hard for me to get through the nursing learning education. It was just, oh, and, you know, I'm not going to go there, but it was the teachers. It was... Anyhow, I made it through by God's grace. I got out of nursing school and I'm here to testify that if we got out of nursing school, we can all pass in class. That's true. So excuse me while I change was just simply was just simply a way to prepare our minds for this week to prioritize ourselves and this goal of passing in class. And I just want to say um this week, make sure every step you take points you in the direction that you want to go into. Every step that you take points you in the direction that you want to go into. You own it. You have to own everything that you do this week. Your actions have to be accountable for. And uh, nobody's going to police you. So everything that you do this week, let it be towards your goal of passing NCLEX. It's the holiday season. We have seven days of NCLEX coming up. Uh, we have our health. We have everything to be grateful for. So let's use our, our most precious gift, our most precious. You guys are talking about nursing school. I don't want to go there. Nursing school was horrific. It really was. I mean, it was mentally 
physically everybody okay so like here's nursing school you look good on the outside everybody sees you you know you're going to class like a regular person and you're carrying your books and to the to the naked eye um there is no difference between a nursing student and any other student on campus but to the spiritual eye and to the 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 deeper eye the nursing student is i don't even i can't even describe it we are tortured on the inside like prisoners in a taiwan camp somewhere i mean literally the stress and mark is mark see, and, and i'm trying to explain it to my husband uh, you try to explain it to your parents nobody understands that i mean imagine Imagine having to learn the entire human body and the diseases and the medications all in nine weeks, right? And then you have to be responsible for uh, people's lives and you're, you're a young nurse. Nobody understands the pressure of nursing school. And I'm not sensationalizing it. It is, it is. A, a, unsurvivable to most people okay the torture <laughs> the torture i had i mean i thought i was going to have a panic attack all right oh i'm not gonna go there though because i've been delivered we are on a greater mission all right and it's not easy it's not easy it's not easy um seven days of NCLEX I have to turn into the positive here seven days of NCLEX is coming up um is coming up oh my goodness oh my goodness and it is going to be a week long it is tough because seven days of NCLEX starts right after Christmas so you have to prepare for this and remember what seven days of NCLEX it is a live event you want to make sure that you are with me every one of those days because we do not extend out seven days of NCLEX. This will not be rebroadcast. This will be a live event every night. We're going to hit pharmacology. I actually have a brand new pharmacology review that I'll be doing for you guys um, on one of the nights. Um, I think it's the second night. Uh, I have brand new hot topics. We're going to go over the test plan. And I'm really hoping that on New Year's Day, I will have the... Um, I'll have the changes and everything that I need to present to you all together. Um, so bring in the New Year's with Mark and myself. You guys know that's actually our wedding anniversary. We anniversary. We were married on uh, New Year's Day. Oh, some few years ago, and so we spend our wedding anniversary with you guys, and it's really it's really cool for us as well. So um, absolutely, we're going to do it. I'm sorry, it can't be before Christmas. It's, it's, it's literally after Christmas. And that is only because I have to be fair to my little ones. I have We have a four-year-old and a two-year-old. And I already, I did Black Friday, so Thanksgiving. Um, I didn't get to really spend it like I wanted to with them. And so I do not do that to them for Christmas. And I'm 100% I'm mommy. Um, on that day. So the day after, I will definitely go back to being Remar. All right. So um, I'm looking forward to it. We're, it's going to be a great event and we'll have the link and everything and everything will um, be great. Everything will be great for you guys. But your Monday motivation has been served. We had a good time today. I kind of, <laughs> we got a good time today. So um, we're going to leave with our class motto. Thank you guys so much for spending Monday with me. Uh, the announcements will be coming. We're going to do less talk. Uh, we're going to do less talk in Clex on Friday. And it's going to be really cool. So I'm going to come back on for that. And we'll do some in Clex questions and something else I have to announce for less talk Friday. So be here with me. I do less talk Friday. Let's talk in Clex on Friday at 1 p.m. Let's do our class model and get out of here. We can. We will. And we must pass in clex we can we will and we must pass in clex um okay i see you guys um if you have a topic idea that you might like to see for uh for seven days in clex give it to me uh send it to me you can you can put it in this video um and i will look back over it tonight you can post it to the if you're in the Remar Nurse study group, somebody start a post and I will look through it and see what you guys are wanting. I haven't finalized that workbook, so let me know. 
what you guys are wanting and maybe we'll try to work it in there. All right, you guys, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for Monday Motivation here at Remar Review. I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.